Hi everybody, this is Book S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new NECA Silence of the Lambs Hannibal Lecter figure. So before we take a look at Hannibal Lecter, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with the guard's baton, and doesn't have much sculpt detail to it, but it looks really nice, and he can hold it very nicely in his hand. It's a really tight grip, and it's not going to fall out of his hand. Up next, you get this regular head sculpt, and I think for the most part, it's a decent likeness of Anthony Hopkins. I do feel like something is slightly off with it, though. From the side, I feel like it really looks like him, but something is just slightly off with the head sculpt. I have to say, NECA did a really good job, though. The 5 o'clock shadow, the texturing to his skin and everything, the printed on eyebrows, that looks really good. Even the little edges of his hair that they painted on looks really nice. They did give him some variation in paint back here at the top of his head, but I feel like the paint's a little too perfect. You can see how it just stops right there. I definitely wish this variation would have been printed on instead of painted on. Up next, he comes with his bloody mouth head sculpt, and this looks very nice. The glossy red color that they used for the blood around his mouth looks very nice, and I actually think the likeness on this head sculpt is better than the regular. I don't know, I just feel like this one is a perfect likeness of Anthony Hopkins. Something is just slightly off with this one, though. But yeah, this one looks amazing. Up next, you get his open mouth head sculpt. I think this is from when he's beating the final guard. I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. But man, this one looks nice as well. This is probably the head sculpt that I'm going to leave him displayed with. NECA did a very awesome job on this. And finally, he comes with his cell diorama. And I am really surprised that NECA included this with the figure. I think it's really awesome that they included that. It comes in three separate pieces in the package, and then you snap them together. And that looks really good. As I said, I'm very surprised that NECA put that in with the figure, but I'm really glad that they did. The floor of the cell is sculpted really nicely. You get some really nice sculpted wood grain. You get the tray of food there. So it's not painted very well at all. Uh, compared to what it looks like in the actual movie, I definitely wish this would have been painted better. This kind of looks like play food. It doesn't look realistic like I'm used to NECA doing. You get the uh, keys right here, the knife, the salt shaker. I think this might have been the can of mace. Not sure what this is. And you get a little bit of blood on the floor. I wish this would have been glossy paint. Uh, this is just a flat red color, dark red color, but I think they really should have used some glossy red for that. I think that would have looked good. You do get the rug right here, and this is just a sticker placed on the base. It definitely worries me, uh, posing the figure on it, that it might tear it up on the edges. Uh, because Hannibal Lecter has fallen off of this. Just because of the way his legs are angled, he has fallen off it. So yeah, definitely be careful with this, because this is just a sticker, and this could get damaged very easily. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Lecter himself. So taking a look at this figure, it is more or less the same as the old version of this. Of course you get the updated heads and the updated paint on it, and it looks really nice. But I'm pretty sure the body is exactly the same. It only has four points of articulation, sadly. But this isn't listed as an ultimate, so that doesn't bother me. It's kind of like the uh, Number of the Beast Iron Maiden figure. That Eddie figure had very limited articulation. Though at least he actually had shoulders that move out. These are literally just swivel shoulders. Or this one, I should say. He doesn't even have any articulation here. Uh, the shoulder just swivels like that. So I do wish he would have been updated with some modern articulation. Because even the House of the Thousand Corpses figures got that. They at least got updated uh, shoulders. I think they were ball-jointed shoulders and single-jointed elbows. But we don't get any articulation updates on this figure to my knowledge. I don't have the previous one, so if anyone knows uh, what exactly the differences are in the articulation, feel free to let me know. But NECA did a really good job at sculpting his clothing here. You get some nice blood splatter here, you get some solid paint right here, and some of it is printed on. The combination of the solid paint and the printed on blood splatter looks very nice. NECA did a really good job on that. As I said, the wrinkles on the clothing look very nice. I'm really surprised at how realistic those wrinkles look. That looks very nice. The back of the figure is sculpted just as nicely. You get the vein running down the back of his left arm right here. You get some nice wrinkles sculpted on the shirt. You can even see the stitch work on the pockets of his pants here. So yeah, that looks very nice. And there you get his shoes. No sort of sculpt at the bottom of them. But yeah, this figure looks really nice. Um, for the articulation, he has a ball-jointed neck that can look up all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side and move around like that. He has a left shoulder that spins all the way around. No sort of articulation here on the right side. No waist articulation. I feel like it would have been nice to have a cut right here. That would have been a perfect place to hide a joint. 
and he has ball jointed ankles that can barely move up and down. They are very hindered, and they do move side to side. So for the only size comparison, here he is to the, I think this was the NECA Cult Classics Hannibal Lecter, the one in the straight jacket, and I love this figure. The articulation is extremely limited on him, though. He only has articulation at the ankles and a ball jointed neck. So overall, I think NECA did a really good job on this. The articulation doesn't bother me. Not only do I not mind figures that are pre-posed or have limited articulation, but this isn't actually listed as an ultimate. On the packaging, it doesn't actually say ultimate, so the lack of articulation doesn't bother me. The only real problem that I have with this figure is the paint on the food. That's the only complaint, and honestly, that's a nitpick. Because other than that, this is a very nice figure. NECA did a really good job on this. Um, here's the UPC. I will put the UPC up on screen on this. And right now, this is only hitting Walmart stores. I don't know if it's a Walmart exclusive or not. I I'm thinking it's probably just a timed exclusive, so Walmart just gets it for a limited time, and then after a little bit, it will be available everywhere. But here's the UPC, so hopefully it can help you find it. Because these are literally just popping up overnight. I had no clue this was even going to be a thing until I just saw uh, pictures of it on Facebook. So yeah, if you can find this, definitely pick it up because it is a really awesome figure. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.